Okay, this is the Easy Wood Chuck. Comes with a standard set of jaws. They're inch and three eighths, and it opens up to two inches. It also comes with two wrenches here. This is to loosen and tighten the jaws and grab on your work piece, and this is to release them. The chuck also comes with a screwdriver with two different diameters on it. It mounts right in the chuck either way. You can turn the bottom of the bowl, put your tenon on it, and then flip it around and grab it with the jaws to hollow it out. Here are some accessory jaws you can get as well and a spindle adapter. But before I talk about those, I've been using the chuck for about four months and there are three things that I love about it and I'd like to share those with you real quick. The first thing is something really simple that I didn't realize how nice it was until I've been working with it. And that's the fact that all the the jaws are rounded over. There's no sharp edges on it. They're nice and smooth. Even putting the chuck on and off the lathe, it's, I never realized how nice that was to have nice smooth corners on all the jaws and it's really nice. The other thing is the zoom ring. This is, comes in really handy. You can open and close the jaws very quickly. You have your work piece there, put it in, tighten the jaws down, and then use your Allen key to fully tighten it. Uh, really nice just lock the spindle down and crank that down and the last thing not the least but the last thing is changing the jaws just like that it just releases them hits that little cam down there to lock them that little click and they are locked in and ready to go so it's very nice all right, and okay, so let's talk about the jaws and the spindle adapter. I have the one inch chuck with the spindle adapter. The spindle adapter is inch and a quarter down to one inch. And what this does is, I've never used, or I hadn't used one of these before, but this is really nice. It actually gets your, if I can get it in here, it gets your work and the chuck away from the headstock here so you're not cramped right up against it. So if you're working on a bowl or something, it gives you some room to work on this side of it opposed to having your having your headstock right there and no room to work so that's really nice i really really am enjoying that too so as far as jaws go they're all except for the step jaws they're all dovetailed inside and out each one of them so that's nice you can either grab it or expand it the standard set of jaws are great for small bowls and boxes And so this set here is another dovetail set and open or closed, it's inch and three eighths and open, it opens up to three inches. The two and three eighths inch jaws are designed to hold a bowl or platter up to 12 inches. And the three and a half inch easy reach dovetail jaws, they can hold a bowl or platter up to 24 inches. And these are the long reach jaws. The inch and three eighths easy reach jaws are great for doing small work. It gets the piece away from the headstock and away from the chuck and gives you room to work. And the half inch jaws are great for, you can drill out pin blanks on the lathe and doing small detail work like finials. And this one here, these actually have ridges in here to grab a hold of the wood as well. So. For doing smaller stuff, little boxes and stuff, that's really nice. And the larger ones, you can turn this one here, same thing, has the ridges in there to just really get a, get a nice tight grip on it. And you can turn a bowl up to 24 inches on that, so that's nice. And then the step jaws here. So these are, there are three, three and a half inch step jaws on the, the very outside, but on the inside it's two and a half, three, and three and a half is what they what they open up to and you can turn a 20 inch bowl with those. All right, let's take a look at the the large jaws for cleaning up the bottom of box or bowls and stuff. The big easy jaws are designed to clean up the bottoms of bowls and platters and do light detail work and with the easy reach extension you can turn a piece up to 19 and a half inches on it. So what this does is put your bowl in there and you can if you have a lip on a, on a large bowl or something too, you can expand them or put them in there. And these are soft urethane, so they're not going to mar up your work. And just clamp it down and clean up the face. And this isn't for, for roughing out anything. It's just for doing some light detail work and, and cleaning up the bottoms of pieces. You can actually put square pieces in there as well. Let me pull that one back out. So, like I was doing the, the art pieces the other day, put a square piece in there, 
if you want to do a little bit of detail or clean up the back side of it, which is nice. And these mount in the same way. And it, as the other jaws, I'll show you that in just a sec. And it comes with these larger extensions too. You can get get those for doing doing bigger stuff, a little bit taller and more secure hold. So they mount in the chuck the same way the jaws do. Slide right in, hear that pop, and to get them out, pop down on it, and release. And all that, that hole in the top pushes down on the little release there and lets them go. And the, on the 16 inch, what happens is when you put them onto the jaws, your wrench doesn't fit anymore. So put them on there, comes around and hits, so you can't tighten it up. So it comes with a separate Allen wrench. And you can put that in there, tighten them down, or loosen them up. And then you get a little extra pressure, turn it that way. All right, but that is about it for the chuck system. That's the things I have. But these are really nice for cleaning up the bottoms of bowls and, and doing a little bit of detail work. Okay, I hope I covered everything in the video. If you have any more questions, go to easywoodtools.com and they'll be more than happy to help you. Till next time, take care.